Hey up peeps, welcome back to Old Yorkshire Git Tries. Final Fantasy 14 part there, I don't know. Uh, anyway, I still don't know whether we've got to the end of the thing or not. So, uh, I suddenly thought yesterday, I'll stick with the main quest up here. Up, 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 up there. <laughs> God, this is awkward. Uh, so, so I'll stick with that and see where it gets us. So two sides of a coin. Sorry, Orion J. I lost the uh, camp overlook. Yeah, I noticed my uh, leveling up bar is still blocked. So. I did go back onto Steam yesterday and double check everything and it's, uh, it says that I've got Heart Song, uh, not Heart Song, the next load on there, so, where is he, ah, there we go, I'll speak to the Storm Commander. Seven hells at this rate, I'll have to appeal to the Maelstrom Command for reinforcements. Whatever it is, we don't want any. Oh, fancy that, just when my cobalt problems look like coming to a head, the scions, the scions turn up. Brilliant timing. Right then, let's get to it. Unlikely allies. Eager to put you to work. So our friendly neighbours in Ugumoro have got much more aggressive of late, just as you said. Yeah, make off with an armful of crystals. I'll be dandy if I'm about to let that up and lend a hand help us search the camp for the little bugger with you. Yeah, okay. I'll fit. No. Our Maelstrom friends seem not to be more agitated than when we first arrived. Do you happen to know why that might be? A cobalt in the camp, you say? That would appear to corroborate Orianje's information, but to be so reckless as to infiltrate a Maelstrom camp and draw attention is passing strange. There will be time to think later. We must do everything in our power to prevent Titan summoning, and that means finding and questioning this cobalt. Yeah, I've fought Titan, haven't I? So this guy could be bloody anywhere. Oh, that's a point. Merchant and Mender. Repair gear. Oh, yeah. Damn right. And yeah, I didn't know it was so low. 55%. What's this guy? Jim Rosenthal. Quest is not available. That's for a mechanic. Storm Private. What's he got? No, not interested. Join a fate. Just looking for somebody.
Gasp. Wait, where are you going? Where did he go? Go back in. Did he go down here? There he is. Stay, stay back, away, far back. I'm not, I'm not a guy. It's no use, pointless, hopeless, no use. around there hiding. Don't hurt me, I only wish to talk. Well, stay where you are and we'll chat. Oh, what a dickhead. Well, at least I found him quickly this time. This was a stupid plan, stupid, 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 but if I tell no one, then everyone will. Found me again. I come in peace only to talk. Do not hurt me. So this is our wily cobbled, is it? No wonder the soldiers were on edge. He could very well give one a bruised knee. We got him, fine work, Scions. Thought you could sneak into my camp, steal my crystals, were you? No, 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 I came to talk, to ask for help, but when your soldiers saw me, they drew their weapons. Now, now, let us all take a deep breath and discuss this like civilised individuals. What is your name, child? Pickman Gabu of the 620th Order. At least I will be a Pickman one day. Well met, Gabu. 
I'm Alfie and this is my sister Alice. Albert, the man who found you, is our friend, and now that you know our names, we can be friends too. Now, Commander Blodin here thinks you wanted to take his crystals, but you said you came to ask for help. Why? And not to your own people. Come on. No one is going to hurt you, all right? Not while we're here, I promise. The Patriarch, he's going to summon the Great Father again. You have to stop him, beat him, fight him, stop him. Gabu's parents said they didn't want it, along with many others, but the Patriarch wouldn't listen, he was angry. Fuming. He said that if they didn't have iron in their hearts, they would serve as coke for the furnace. Then the guards took my parents and the others away, and I haven't seen any of them since. Coke for the furnace? I did not want to believe it, but I have heard tales of folky fashioned from the bones of beastmen, which worshippers use in their rituals, hoping to summon more powerful incarnation of their gods. By the twelve, that, that is sickening. No one listens to Gabo, no matter how much he cries, pleads, begs and cries. They do not listen, only talk about punishing the overdwellers and praising the Great Father. Gabo loves the Great Father, but he loves his parents too, so please help Gabo stop the Patriarch and save his parents. Commander, advise Maelstrom, command that Titan summoning is imminent. Should the worst come to the worst, we will require their support. Time being of the essence, we three will attempt to infiltrate the Cobalt Stronghold, secure their crystals and free the prisoners. Well, if you're sure, you'll forgive me if I don't seem optimistic. We'll make ready just in case. You ready then, Albert? Speak with Alfie. I have faith that we may yet stop the ritual. We should surely have detected the associated disturbance had he manifested already. I can't speak for the prisoners, twelve have mercy, that they would even contemplate in sacrificing their own flesh and blood. Time is of the essence, we must say what Gabu knows. Wait. I heard Great Father Titan lost crystals, that's why the Patriarch told everyone to go forth gather them. So I was thinking if we take the crystals away, maybe the Great Father won't come. Very good, Gabo, I was just thinking the same thing. Do you know where they're stored? I know, I know. Several spots, each defended by a different order. I wanted to steal them, but you were afraid to go alone. Too afraid. But together we can take them and hide them. Come, I'll lead you to the first cache. Where are we going? That way. Right. We are your little foul fella. Right down there. 
quickly, quickly. Lead on Gabu this way. Dragon. Where are we going next? get it. That's that one done. Time is short. Need to move to the next cache. Did you hear me brother? Brother. Ah, oh, it's just that. What's worrying Alfie? I quit saying that crate once boys guardian seals. Someone took great pains to remove all traces, but enough remains to make out the pattern. See for yourself. I struggle to imagine cobalt travelling to Kurthos to obtain crystals, much less bothering to conceal their origins. I suspect these crystals were smuggled into Varbrand by another party, most likely a pawn of the Asians, as Thancred speculated. Uh. I don't understand who are Asians. Do they worship Great Father Type too? Never mind about that. We do not have a lot of time. Lead us to the next cache, Gabu. Yes, yes, of course. Gabu knows the way. Next one is the last and very large. Very, very large. Alright. Back on me. Oh, bloody hell. Back on me, dragon. Cast about for you see no sign of the crystals. Confound it, what about you, Albert? Any luck? Uh -uh. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It cannot be. Gabu saw them, spied and spotted and saw. Think, brother, think. They must have moved them. The question is where to or why? Within El Gomorra, where they summoned Titan once before and mean to do so great, it's the only explanation. What about mother and father? We have to help them. We will. We still have time. They have yet to call for the remaining crates. If they had, then they would have found the other empty. Sound of the alarm. Nevertheless, I believe the time for stealth has passed. We must breach the navel and seize the remaining crystals. There is another way to protect Titan's summoning. But first give me your crystals that I might deliver them onto Commander Blody's custody. Don't want to fall into their hands. 
crystals all back if you would be so kind. Thank you, I shall deliver them to Camp Overlook. Go on ahead as a Corvus Netherite within the Ogomara mines that should deliver you to Naval. I would have thought you were good to remain. This way, this way. Okay, this is the youth right receipt right then as soon as alpha in order eyes we'll go well, here we are again quickly applauds no delays Down your arm, surrender. We have your crystals. There will be no summoning this day. Oh, the dwellers, how did you? Where are my parents? Where are they? for the furnace you monster how could you we are but servants of the lord of crags we are his that he may drink our blood and partake of our flesh he might draw upon the strength of his children and defend them from tyranny what's the point of defending the dead no Alice said not yet I understand, I do, your fear, your anger, your hate. You would do anything to protect your people, anything, whatever it takes to ensure that those who threaten you can never do so again. But in your single-minded pursuit of this objective, you have brought suffering to your own kith and kin. You have sacrificed the lives of the very people you sought to protect. But it needs not be this way. Renounce this bloody course Cease your attempts together and with us together to build a lasting peace. Another peace to be abandoned at the overdwellers convenience. Oath breakers, liars, betrayers, blah de blah. You take, you take, you take, and though you've had your fill, you sue for peace. You promise that this time, this time is the last until you grow hungry. And when we dare to defend ourselves, you declare that this beast tribe cannot be suffered to live. Our God drains the land of ether and brings naught but suffering, death, suffering upon us all. I will hear no more lies from you and yours. You've ruined your own lands, you'll not ruin ours. Oh yeah, it's very nice. I said I'd come for you and I did. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. 
Oh, poor Gabu. Say something, please. Please. Oh. Uh oh. Seven hells. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. How they even to me? away. What are you doing, Alfie? the 12 I couldn't be so foolish I should have known better than to let Gabo accompany us given what we were likely to find his anguish as despair served to birth a primal just as surely as would the supplication of the faithful worse being born of such tumultuous emotion this incarnation of Titan seems incapable of naught but violence we have one cause for optimism it is that while many crystals were present they represented they represented <laughs> but a fraction of the quantity intended for the summoning ritual, meaning that Titan must be far weaker than, than planned. Be that as it may, he's yet a primal, and the longer we leave him to bleed the land of ether, the stronger he will grow. And should Titan be permitted to leave old Gamora, more lives will be lost. The Maelstrom will rally their troops, and the cycle will continue. Albert, you know what must be done. Will you face the Lord of Crags once more? Uh, thank you, my friend. Alice and I will tend to Gabu. When you're finished with the Prime, we'll look for us in Camp Overlook. Okay. Here's the duty. Finder. an eight man one this one right I shall pause the recording there catch you on the flip side right here we go folks come on last one click it's pinged here we go right that was a 12 minute wait for today. It was an over an hour yesterday, so I stopped. Right, the 
a rock monster. Face. Not now. Come on, team. I've just realised I've only got one potion left. Get out of there. Oh, thank you very much. He's going down. Is. Up in the top left hand corner, I don't know what that is. Go on guys, you can do it. Freya, I think I played with Freya before. Team. Sorry about that. I fell off the cliff again. <laughs> Did that last time. Bugger. Right. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Was that Caitlin? Thank you. Thank you, Danielle. Thank you. Appreciate that. Speak with Alfie at Camp Overlook. Appreciate that.
I have no idea whether I'm still doing the main quest or not. I'm doing a main objective, but current main scenario, but is this still part of thing or? Uh, you know what I mean. A heart's heaven's ward or? Where is he then? Around here. Ah, here he is. I must admit, I am a little confused. Because I thought when we won that dragon battle, that was the end of that. Uh, Evans Ward, and then we'd start on the new one. The next DLC, but... I'm, I'm lost. I've, I've paid for it. It's been installed. I haven't got a clue. I really haven't. My son, it's been a long time since he played it. He says, and he can't remember. Oh, yeah. Right, oh, there he is. Did I not tell you we'd return safe and sound? Deed is done. Titan is no more. Oh. Good, there has been enough tragedy this day. Oh, he's been like that since he regained consciousness. We believe he can hear us, but he has made no attempt to respond. Still in shock. We cannot discount the possibility that he should come to the primal's influence, should that prove to be the case. He must be put to death like any. No! You have the right of it. But we must not rush to conclusions. After all, we once feared that his sales followers were beyond reason. Many have since laid down their arms. Oh, his mum and dad got killed. We can but watch and pray. Watch, wait, and pray. Beneath a star filled sky. Ah, okay. is not to be gained from dwelling on an eventuality over which we have no control. Uh, let us tend to more important immediate matters informing Commander Blodin. Okay, you'll be glad of the news. Speaking with Blodin. You're a sight for sore eyes. When the others came back without you, I feared the worst. They said you had matters in hand. All settled then. Glad to hear it, but not half as glad as my men will be. Regardless of whether or not he was summoned, summoned properly, a primal's a primal. And there ain't a soul in the maelstrom that hasn't lost a friend to one. Don't get me wrong, like, we were all prepared to do our part, but we weren't so naive as to think we'd live to tell the tale. Thank me, of course, it didn't come to that, which my friend sounds to me like cause for celebration. Why not stay the night? Have a drink? Have a few jars? It's you. Forgive me for straying from the camp. He hasn't been feeling too welcome, to say the least. I thought a change of scenery might do him good. But, alas. <sighs> it's so quiet out here. The stars spread out before us, beckoning across time and space. 
Dawn may banish even the darkest night. How bitterly beautiful, those words. I should be stronger for all my experiences, yet my heart aches more than ever. I never understood why Grandfather gave his life that day. I thought that if I came here, I would find the answers I needed. But when I finally laid eyes on the land he sacrificed everything to save, saw firsthand the bickering, the pettiness, I was disappointed. I was angry. I could not fathom how these people were more deserving of his love than his family, than me. Nevertheless, I had to believe he had good reason. I was determined to uncover the whole truth of the calamity and, perhaps in so doing, find my own purpose in this sea of chaos. My travels have been enlightening, but I cannot say that I have enjoyed them. I have lost count of the many petty crises that I was helpless to resolve and of the people whose actions I could not understand. There were others, of course. Good people. People with whom I felt a kinship. Whose lives I could not save. I found myself asking what it was all for. Why try if I was doomed to fail in the end? But then I recalled Grandfather's words to my father, years ago, before he left Charlayan behind forever. To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, it is indolence. We must all protect that which we hold most dear in the manner of our own choosing. We have to try, do we not? Of course, it's one thing to try and another to do. There were times while I was tracking the warriors of darkness when I faltered, when I was afraid. But then I thought of my brother, of Uri Angers. Oh, pray forgive me. This conversation has been rather one-sided, hasn't it? Mayhap you could recount some of your adventures in Ishgard. Ah, which one? Alfie, because he'd be mate. Me and Alfie. We had no clear memories of our life in the hinterlands, having returned to the motherland as infants. Nevertheless, I am quite familiar with Master Matoya, as is every Charlene. I should like to speak with her someday. It would not surprise me if Alphano's recent maturation was at least somewhat due to her sage guidance. I would never tell him this, of course. But there have been moments when I've caught myself thinking of him as an elder brother. The hopes and dreams of so many rest on your shoulders, Warrior of Light. As long as the sun rises, we can but carry on. For the sake of those we hold dear. Yeah, he's got big shoulders. He's all right, old Albert. Oh, Faye! We've got to find Eater and Papalimo. Mm. Get Minge Filler back. They're the only three that are missing now, I think. Ah. To what end dost thou cling to the tainted gifts of the mother? Every tool has its purpose. Even this. Well, what is it? The seeds sown in Vilbrand have been plucked from the earth and left to wither. Alas, Titan's demise sufficed not to drive the kobolds to deepest desperation. 
What did the man in white have to say? That we are to proceed as he did first set forth. Well, that's easy for him to say! It's not his bloody world on the brink of destruction, is it? Be thou well reminded that with an end to Ishgard's unrest, naught now remaineth to preoccupy the Scion's thoughts. And thus may they devote their every energy to thwarting thee and thine. I foresee only greater difficulties ahead. Foresee? Are you sure you don't welcome them? I'm starting to think you might hold a candle for your old friends after all. Pray do not mistake mine intent. I but look upon the path which lieth before us with due trepidation. Shouldst thou be of like mind, pray consider then another course. For the power to invoke the ardor belongeth not unto the Assians alone. With thine own hand, strike down thine enemy, the so-called hero who would see thy home lost to light. Do but this, and thou wouldst at a single stroke disrupt the all-too-delicate balance of this realm, plunging her straightways into chaos. He just said... His old friends, does he miss them? Who's he then? You do realise what you're suggesting, yes? To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, it is indolence. The words of my teacher and a creed I hold close to my heart. Right, because that's what her grand, Alice's granddad said, wasn't it, to his, to the, her dad. He's not their father, is he? Or is he? No, it can't be Orionje. Very well. Draw him out. We'll make it quick. It shall be done. Who is he? Who is he? What good a creed one cannot uphold. What hurts soothed. What lives saved. Oh, hapless fool, what hast thou wrought by thine own hands? Minfilia, my friends, I shall not now beg your forgiveness. Oh, it died. Is it? Full deeply, though it paineth me to walk it, I shall not stray from my chosen path. As Moonbreeder remains it steadfast, is Jay, isn't it? so too shall I. Holy shit! What the hell's he up to? Ooh, he's getting, getting. <laughs> right. I'll speak with Alfie. I trust you had a good night's rest. I was but this moment speaking with Thancred and he stole a violin pearl. Oh, we still got them, have we? Interesting news to share. Apparently during the course of their investigations, both came across crates which had once borne seals. It would seem that someone in the capital has been very busy. According to the Temple Knights, have launched a full-scale investigation. I, Merrick, believes that it's only a matter of time before culprits are found. <laughs> We shall have to wait to see. In the meantime, it seems only prudent to look into the recent activities of the other tribes, in case they are too flush with crystals. And with that in mind, I suggest we pay Urianje another. Where's Alice? She was here a moment ago with Gabu. Search for Alice. 
me say. Let me guess, it's time to leave, isn't it? Oh. My apologies for disappearing again. If it's any consolation, I've already packed my things. How is he? That was old Gaboon. Brother, Commander Blodin, something tells me you are not solely here out of concern for his welfare. But to answer your question, there has been no change. He will not speak or eat. I'm not even sure if he slept. If he did, he seems none the better for it. He just shuffles about. Same expression on his face. You will look after him, won't you, Commander, and treat him with every kindness. He's still in there, I know it. Beneath the anguish and the despair, he's still fighting with all his heart. He deserves to be given that chance until he comes back to us, until we know for certain what's become of him. Aye, aye, you needn't worry. He helped to secure the best part of the crystal, and he could have turned out a damn slight worse. We'll not forget that. I'm sorry, Gabo, I truly am. You should never have been made to, and I know I cannot possibly understand. Mayhap there is n nothing I can do or say, the pain, the anger, the helplessness. Hold fast to the memories, remember them as they were. And when it hurts so much your heart feels fit to burst, let it burst, let it burst and fill up again with your love for them and never ever forget. Come along, little one. I will remember them, and you, Alice. Thank you. Have faith, sister. Your words have reached him. In time he will recover. And those who orchestrate these events will be made to answer for their crimes. A thousand times over, aye, there will be a reckoning. Ooh, calm down, love, don't get too reckless. It's when mistakes happen. Turn to the walking sands. We'll go see Orion J. wrong all the time. Nah. Right. Get on the old dragon. Right, let's go see what Orion J's got to say. I reckon, I'd, what's that him in that? Is he the, 
Who was that masked man? Yeah, because we never see his... Oh, no, he's got whiskers. Mind you, he's got a mask on, hasn't he? So we don't know. I can't see his hair. We have heard the glad tidings from Ogamora, my friends, by the... Why, when they're speaking, is it spelt with an O, and yet on the map it's spelt with an A? I don't know, by the grace of the Twelve, you must probably... I've noticed the most stupidest things. People of Limps of the Mincer may rest easy. I should like to think so, yes. Though we failed to prevent the Lord of Crags from manifesting, we did succeed in weakening him, enabling our friend to dispatch him before the Warrior of Darkness could make matters worse. Yeah, then let us speak of another matter, one which weighed heavy on my lady's mind. As thou didst request, I sought out the Geron Oracles that we might better understand the aims of the Warriors of Darkness. Though their copious use of allegory defieth any single interpretation, the oracles paint the most disturbing picture, one of worlds parallel to our own, part yet linked, reduced to ruin with every umbral calamity. Seven times they have they succeeded, then of ten and three only six worlds remain. I all is as my lady Minch Filla spake unto thee. Oh, he has got white hair, I think. Who is that? His hood. Difficult to see. As for what become for these reflections when they and the saucer rejoined. Oh yeah, what blah 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 blah. If the worries of darkness succeed, every nun in their world will die. In essence, I, the verse speaketh of the renunciation of the flesh and subsequent return to the live stream. However, this fate may yet be preferable to the alternative, for if the first were to fall to transcendent light in the manner the warriors of darkness described, it would give way in, unto a void wherein none may know either life or death. Far better to die, they reason, for in death there is life, the essence of a soul which we dare what, whatever, Blah de blah de blah. If that is true, then God's no one should ever have to make such a choice. There we speak further on this subject. I will share with thee another recent discovery. It was seen that several sizable shipments of crystals have been delivered into the hands of Alamegan parties. And you believe this to be work of same smugglers? I know beyond a shadow of doubt, unless thou wonder at their motive, I would remind you that the Asians did once attempt to bring about the summoning of Rhaegar. The individuals took receipt of are refugees. It may also interest thee to know that their supplies appear to be none other than the remnants of Eli Royal's network of spies. Surely you jest, waffle, 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 waffle. We're off to Alam Alamijo then. I would like to hear what they have to say for themselves first and may you ever walk in the light of the crystal. Right, so it's travelled to where? Alamijo, wasn't it? Are you? I have tidings. Temple Knights raided the smugglers' warehouse. A cursory interrogation of the prisoners yielded confirmation that they were in the employ of, and I hope you're sitting down, a man in black robes. Then you have them and the crystals too. What few remained. Regretfully, it would seem they dispatched one final shipment in the hours before we struck. To us bound for Alamigo. Yeah, well, that's where we're going. I have a mind to head that way. As do we. See you there, Thancred. There I was thinking I might be one step ahead. Wait a moment, there's more, and I defy you not to be surprised. The leader of the Scardian smugglers was formerly in the play of one. Uh, yeah, we know that. Once again, I fear I must inform you that. Thancred, with whom else have you shared this information? No one. I was planning to contact his stolen ex, but there is someone else you would have me notify first. No, there isn't. Ah. Is she... 
speak with Alfie. Uh, what in the world's gotten into her? Twice now that we have sought her eyes, she's there. Twice she has treated her as a stranger. The Archon was one of grandfather's most dedicated pupils and spent as much time. Yeah, that it is him. I struggle to recall a day from my childhood when I did not see the three of them laughing together. Little Alamigo awaits. Right. Speak with Alice in Little Alamigo. So we shall travel to Little Alamigo, ready for the next instalment. where I'm going to save it right as always peeps thanks for watching the views are always appreciated I'll try and figure out why what's going on I'm, I'm a bit confused it doesn't take much <laughs> it doesn't take much to get me confused uh, hopefully my son can come up with some tips oh do beg your pardon I was up early anyway as always if you like and subscribe if you liked it, I'll get me merge, fucking merge muddled up again. If you enjoyed it, click the like and subscribe button. If you don't, anyway, until tomorrow, I'll see you.